whiskey. Ooh. Hi friends, welcome back. Today is December 15th. <laughs> Today is the 15th. Yeah. Today we have a seven year old single malt scotch whiskey from Space Side. The purple one. Awful lot. Yeah, see, you figured out the color coding over there, didn't you? I did. The color coding on these little boxes yep. refers to the region on the map. Yep. It also um, has the label on the bottom of the, the bottle. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this one is from the Ballantron Distillery. Uh, they had 225 hogs heads that were 250 liters. I can smell this one. Uh, small disclosure, I might have had some Jay Carver at work today. That has nothing to do with this. I uh, know. <laughs> but can't you smell it? Yeah, I can. Okay, so. I Okay, I just wanted to tell a side story. I was walking through the office and uh, I don't know, 25 feet away, I could smell it. And I was like, that smells sweet. Sweet, good gold candy. And that's what they were having, is some Jay Carver bourbon. Hmm. Um, excellent, okay, good job. So I did some <laughs> research on this distillery. <clears throat> because I had never heard of them before. So I wanted to know what I was getting into. And surprisingly, um, everything that I read or found out about them is that they're extremely underrated. So Ballantron, everyone should remember this. Also, definitely peated, definitely a peated whiskey. You can smell it. I know, I'm, I'm <laughs> less excited about that, but we'll see. It, may be, it might just be in the, the smell. It doesn't have the same iodine-y smell that the Isla Scotch had, um, but this one has a woody, campfire-y aroma that's quite pleasant. What else you get on it? Uh, I get a high alcohol, high, high volatile alcohol. Well, it's only 46. In the air. Sorry, it, it goes into my nose and burns. I don't know. I get like, you know, vanilla and maybe some stewed fruit. So on the day that we did the pachuga, or the, not pachuga, the scotch that tasted like, or smelled like the pachuga, I get a little of that, like a ripeness or something. Mm -hmm. would say this is kind of flowy. Do you like this? Fl flowy? <clears throat> yeah. Like, um, you drink it and it has like a beginning flavor and then it drops off and then you get the burn at the end and it goes back up. I'm gonna give it another shot. Cause initially, to me it tastes like burnt tires. <clears throat> Which is not a good idea for, for me to say <laughs> on a video, but you know. <laughs> To each his own, right? Right, Monty? Arm day? Our cat is a little riled up today. He had to go to the vet. Okay, so. You chewing it? Second taste. <clears throat> I'm still not a fan of this one. Um, it has a distinctive burning taste that I'm not super keen on. Um, it's pretty harsh, I think. I feel like it makes all of my taste buds all over my tongue stand up. And I feel it going down my throat. It's got a pretty long finish though. And it definitely tastes like peat on the finish. I'm a little sad because I was kind of excited to try this one yeah. based on what people were saying. Maybe this just isn't the right one that I should be trying for it's, them. But It's funny because if I were to sample this, I'd be like, nope, this is something Gail is going to like. But I'm wrong. I think it's too 
bitter for me right now. I don't know. Did you add water? I have not added water. I should probably do that. Um, all right. Do we want to hear what the description is? <clears throat> so it says soft on the nose, soft spices and rich peat, <clears throat> very punchy and intense with, van with inviting vanilla notes. Okay. On the palate, simple and balanced with rich peat smoke and hints of black pepper. Yes, I get all of those things. However, I tires. do not appreciate them, I guess. This is definitely not some uh, a scotch that I appreciate. And the finish, intense spice with wood, smoke, and tar. Again, get all those things. You know what this one kind of reminds me of? Without all the pleasant aromas and tastes, um... It very much reminds me of the like woody punchiness of some of the Lagavulin, like the. You can't put this in the same. No, no, no. Time. Like the um. The the specialty ones that are like the cask influences that they release from time to time. Okay. Because they have that like extra char or like that super punchy wood flavor on them, you know. But then they all have. They're much more balance because they have like the nice rounded flavors from like the honey and the um, the meat like aromas and tastes that you get with some of those. This one has a lot of that punchiness. Okay. I I'm a pass. I'm a hard pass on this one. Not a fan of it. Anything else you need to know from Costco? No, that's all it says. Okay. Alright. See you tomorrow.